Hey guys, Donnie Wright side here. Bookmakers review wrapping up Super Bowl 58 on Sunday. What a game it was. The Kansas City Chiefs 25, the San Francisco 49ers 22, and away we go with back-to-back -back championships for the Kansas City Chiefs. We'll see if they can do a three-peat in 2024, which is something nobody has ever done. Could they possibly do it? Yeah, if Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid both come back and Mahomes stays healthy next year, the sky is the limit. What's to say to us that the Kansas City Chiefs can't run a rough shot once again on the AFC and pick off the NFC's best team? We'll see if that happens. But if we do put a bow on Super Bowl 58 from a Chiefs perspective, what were the three reasons that the Kansas City Chiefs won that game against the San Francisco 49ers? Well, the big reason, obviously, was number one. Patrick Mahomes being the best quarterback in the NFL. Even though he didn't win MVP during the regular season, when they needed him, talking about the Chiefs in the playoffs, he was there every step of the way and doing it the hard way here. Typically, they have a bye week. Typically, the Chiefs are home for the AFC playoffs. But this year was a little bit different. On the road, after the Miami win against Buffalo, they won that football game, moved on to play the Baltimore Ravens, the number one overall seed in the AFC. They won that game as well. Moving forward into the Super Bowl where they were the underdogs, they won that game obviously as well. But Patrick Mahomes in that game, 300 plus yards passing, two touchdown passes outside of one bad interception to start the second half, which the defense bailed them out of. He was sensational the rest of the way through. The game plan in the first half certainly wasn't working. They involved Travis Kelsey more in the second half, but Patrick Mahomes certainly one of the best football players we've ever seen, the main cog in that Kansas City Chiefs machine, which got them the Super Bowl championship. Number two in the Super Bowl was bounces, quite frankly. And sometimes you just need a lucky break. It's a one-game scenario. It's not seven games where those breaks might even out. You saw a punt that hit the foot of a 49ers player. Then the punt returner fumbled it, trying to recover it, which led to a Kansas City Chiefs score, which is a big moment in that football game. Now, each one of these teams here did fumble in the red zone, one from Isaiah Pacheco, and one from Christian McCaffrey. But there were multiple plays, including bad pitches back to Isaiah Pacheco, that the ball was on the ground and the San Francisco 49ers weren't able to come away with that ball. Also, take a look at a punt return from a Chiefs perspective which was bobbled and fumbled, were able to get back on the football. There were a lot of things that happened in that football game which could have changed the tone, but certainly didn't there. Just interesting to see the way it played out. But bounces were a key ingredient, and those bounces certainly went towards the Kansas City Chiefs. Number three, the third reason why the Kansas City Chiefs won the Super Bowl, plain and simple, it's Kyle Shanahan. The guy just does not know how to protect a lead in the Super Bowl. We understand that he was an offensive assistant and the offensive coordinator in Atlanta, 28-3. But what was the biggest play of that football game we're talking about? Late in the ball game, all Atlanta needed to do was hand off and kick a field goal, and they would have been Super Bowl champions. Kyle Shanahan dials up a pass, which sacks Matt Ryan, and away go the Patriots. Super Bowl number two for Kyle Shanahan against these very same Chiefs here. Had a double-digit lead in the fourth quarter. Did not win that football game because they couldn't make enough plays and Kyle Shanahan couldn't dial up the right play calls to make for Jimmy Garoppolo. Now we push forward to Super Bowl 58. Hey, how about that? Kyle Shannon with a double-digit lead blew it again and also made one of the biggest blunders in Super Bowl history by taking the football in overtime, therefore giving Patrick Mahomes four downs to convert down the field, which he did, which scored a touchdown. The Kansas City Chiefs are world champions here, and it's just the way it's going to be, and maybe for a few years more. I'm Donnie Wrightside for Bookmakers Review, and as always, good luck on those wagers.